Hello, it's Admiral Bumblebee, and today I'm going to blast through all the new features in Cubase 10. So let's get on with it. Two of the first things you may notice here on the screen are that a number of plugins got new GUIs, and the channel strip also got new GUIs, including some fancy switching to the plugin-like GUI directly in the channel strip. The project setup window has been redesigned. The project synchronization setup has been redesigned. Project export looks totally new and is easier to use. All of the add track dialogues have been improved, they're not ultra long, and the automation panel is much easier to use. The spectrum analyzer was changed, not for the better in my opinion, and the color panel has also been changed. One of the main things that you'll see is that Cubase 10 is high DPI and retina compatible for the most part. That's why a lot of the stuff has changed. On the right side, you will see the new media tiles. And when you click something like VSTFX, there are now plugin thumbnails, which you can create directly inside the plugin. And the plugins can be drag and dropped directly from the right panel. Cubase 10 has a new feature called Mixed Console Snapshots. So I will save a snapshot reset the mixer, and now I can recall the mixer settings that I just saved. How cool is that? Cubase 10 brings over new Windows audio alignment feature, which allows you to align the contents of one track to the contents of another. It's a very useful feature for vocals and dialogue. Cubase 10 now allows you to map MPE directly to its VST note expression system. This does not allow you to edit MPE, but it does allow you to use MPE capable devices with VST expression capable devices. Cubase 10 now supports importing AAF and exporting AAF projects. So project interchange with other studios is much more easy. Preview selections can now be made directly in the media bay. Before Cubase had some terrible menus, but now all of the context menus have been improved to only have things that are contextual. Cubase now supports 32-bit and 64-bit float export and file freezing formats. Very Audio now allows you to select a MIDI reference part to be shown alongside your Very Audio data. Very Audio has improved significantly. Changing the anchor point is much easier. Changing the format frequency is much easier. Changing the audio level is much easier. Warping and stretching is much easier. Everything is easier, even quantizing. Cubase's Convolution Reverb Reverence got a bunch of new content. Sidechaining in Cubase 10 is much easier. You can change all of the sidechaining parameters directly from the destination. And you can just quickly jump over to the source track. The amount of delay compensation for each track can be shown directly in the mix console. Multiple channels can be superimposed upon each other in the sample editor. Cubase's direct processing feature got a new visual update, and it supports plugin chains along with banks and favorites. If you've ever used Cubase's chord pad, you knew just how terrible it was to work with the settings. Now the settings dialog has been changed and it's much easier to use. Score Editor now allows you to use click patterns for groupings, which changes how beams are drawn. There are new track pictures. Cubase now also supports the 3D spatial standard called Ambisonics. The profile manager and key commands menus have moved to under the edit menu. Cubase 10 isn't a fancy update with a lot of features. There was a couple other things I didn't mention. The ASIO engine has been improved. It supports up to 14 cores now. SOX is used for resampling, which means that Cubase's resampling is fantastic. And the hit point engine has also changed to be working with percussion and non-percussion sources about as equally well. So for Cubase 10 users, I mean Cubase 9 users, Cubase 10 is a fantastic update. For people who don't already use Cubase, this may not seem that exciting, but the usability of Cubase has improved rather significantly. Thanks for watching. Patreon.com slash AdmiralBumblebee and AdmiralBumblebee.com where I have a companion text article that shows the same content but in text form. Thank you very much.